What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome to my former building guide for this month's former revival banner featuring Shadows of Valentia units like Fallen Celica, Fallen Delthea, Fallen Burkut and not Fallen Sonia. So we're gonna be having skills up to the Legend Yuri banner and it also includes some really nice skills like Ventral Fighter 4 and Guidance 4 and Attack Speed Hexblade. So let us begin with Fallen Delthea who's definitely the best unit out of this batch because of the most modern weapon refine that she has got and it's definitely a pretty nice weapon refine for a grail unit so it can be really good if you're trying to plus and merge her or if you've already plus and merged her. So death tome does give you plus 3 resistance and she's also able to get plus 9 to all of her stats in the combat and can inflict penalty on foes speed and resistance depending on her maximum special cooldown count plus 1 and she also has dealt speed resistance which is really helpful in nuking and then after the combat if she attacked then she deals 4 damage to herself as the recoil and with her weapon refined she's gonna be able to jump to a space within 2 spaces of any ally within 2 spaces so this is definitely really good for the mobility and she can definitely spook you in something like summoner duels or an ether rates defense it is definitely not as good as before because we have got guidance for so you know a lot of infantry units can pretty much jump by using that but still having this inner weapon refine is definitely really nice and does make her a bit more unique. Even without Guidance 4, she's going to be able to jump, so that's helpful. She's not really going to be an insane mage, but definitely a pretty nice unit if you're a big fan of her. And using this Hollow Form, she can definitely get some updated skills for her. So if you're going to be trying to build her up, then you can try and get her weapon refine, which can save you 200 Divine Dews if you get it in Hollow Forms. But if you've already refined her weapon, then you can just try and get some other weapons for fun. And for the Slotty, she definitely has you know different options attack speed finish 4 can be really good because of the healing because she's constantly going to be taking that recall damage so this kind of in combat healing is going to be helpful and it does work with her teleportation really well because she's always going to be within three spaces of an ally so attack speed finish is always going to be active and so is going to be attack speed unity so that's also an option that you can run and if you want to have more bulk in the player phase in the form of damage reduction from remote sparrow then it could also be an option but overall i do prefer having attack speed finish for especially with special spiral 4 which is going to be the best lobby skill to pick up and if you've already foddered a rearmed affiliate to her then i guess you could try and get speed resistance tempo but special spiral 4 is still the best and time pulse 4 can be useful for setting up special spiral and looping specials but you can definitely try and run some other skills like join drive speed which is going to be working really easily with her teleportation or you could run menace skills like attack speed menace or speed resistance menace and panic smoke can also work she doesn't really have to run a loud skill because of having the dull speed resistance in her weapon and she doesn't really need to run something like attack speed oath for which many of the mages run because she can already teleport so this is pretty much going to be the way to get updated premium skills on your Delthea if you're a big fan of her and if you're trying to plus and merge her then this can also save you 500 grails which is really good. Fallen Burkut is a Lance Cavalier and he did get a weapon refined couple of months back in Krimhild so this weapon is decent but it's not the greatest weapon refine and being a tanky cavalier is also not the best role because you don't really have access to many of the skills which are really good defensively and also you don't really have the stats of many of the you know omni tanks or just save armors and the skills that they have but still Barku tries his best to perform as a bulky cavalier so with this weapon he's able to get distant counter and follow-up negation if he's within three spaces of an ally and that can be really helpful and after he attacked he's going to be dealing 20 damage to the nearest ally which can be really annoying but we do have medias with unguard so he can be a pretty good teammate and with the weapon refine he's able to inflict minus five attack and defense debuff on the foe and also get a guaranteed follow-up attack which definitely makes him a better mixed face cavalier and he doesn't really need to run quicker post in his slot b and if you're a big burkut fan then this is the perfect opportunity to deck him out with some premium skills which are otherwise really hard to get so you can just give him attack defense clash for as his and this is a really rare and solid skill it's only available on rearmed glyph who's a lot of times used for his weapon instead so using the skill you're going to be able to get a lot of extra stats and also attack and defense debuff neutralization you can also run attack defense unity if you want to and attack defense catch is also an option but i still like attack defense clash for a bit more on him and again you can only get an arcane weapon in holoforms unless the rearm reunit who introduced that weapon is itself in the hollow form so you're not going to be able to get arcane xiang so you can try and save some divine dues by getting his weapon refine 
and guard four is definitely going to be the best skill to get for his thought b because it is perfect for his bulky cavalier role because it gives you minus four attack debuff it gives you guard in both phases and 30 percent damage reduction on foe's first attack so it's really helpful uh, for the role that he's going for you can also run attack defense near trace if you want to use him but this is an option that is a lot more easily available than guard four and then there's also mystic boost four which can work for giving him healing and also giving him the attack debuff and he already has this encounter weapon so mystic boost four disabling the dazzling staff of the staff enemies can be helpful but overall i do like guard four as you don't really have to run a tier four stand skill and you can just function with a more mixed face skill like the clash skill or the cat skill and finally in slots you can just have panic smoke which is going to be a useful pickup if you want to get debuff and also the faux penalty doubler effect but attack defense menace or pulse smoke are also the options Fallen Salika is the sword infantry unit with beloved Sophia, which is definitely a pretty old weapon refine. Back when she first ran in Holoform, she still had the weapon refine, so it just goes to show you how old it is, and it definitely shows its age when it's basically just a stat ball weapon refine. I mean, she can heal the HP in the combat, but that's pretty much it. So usually having the extra stats is not enough nowadays. You need to have the extra effects and unique effects which can make you stand out. Um, and there's already so much competition when it comes to a sword infantry unit. So this weapon has not really aced the best and you can definitely try and get um, a different weapon in this hall of forms as you'll see or even give her the arcane weapon. And in the future we might get an arcane sword that is more suited for a faster unit so she could also try and make use of it. But yeah if you're trying to update your Celica then you can definitely get some much needed skills for her. So you can try and get her weapon refine and save 200 divine dues but instead you can also try and get Petal Fall Blade Plus which is locked to uh, Valentine Hana and uh, that is definitely a really good weapon to get because it does give you the full null follow up which is really really helpful. So I would suggest getting this weapon as it's a rare weapon from a seasonal unit and also really good with that null follow up and you can also get Vital Astra on her. I don't really think she is going to be the best user of godlike reflexes. So Vital Astra is the better special in my opinion. You could also get Attack Speed Finish, which is a pretty solid offensive skill. But you can also try and get the new Attack Speed Hexblade for fun. And also Distant Dart if you do have her at max investment. And in Slot B, a Tier 4 damage reduction skill is going to be the best Slot B skill to get. Like Close Call 4 or Repel. Especially because she's going to be trying to speed stack. And Time Pulse 4 is going to be really useful with Vital Astra. And especially if you're going to be planning to run Arcane Lutnir on her or any other Arcane Sword that comes out in future which is probably going to be having minus on special cooldown. So you can pre-charge your Vital Astra and loop it, which is always helpful. But you can also try and get Attack Speed Oath 4 or Speed Smoke 4 at max investment if you don't really want to run Time Pulse 4. So this is a pretty standard build for a Sword Infantry unit and Fallen Celica can definitely run that, especially with the Petal Fall Blade Plus. The final unit of this patch is Sonia and she also has a super old weapon refine, a lot older than Fallen Celica. So Dark Excalibur gives you plus 10 true damage when special triggers and at sort of turn 1 you basically get minus 2 special cooldown. So it doesn't really give her any kind of extra stats or extra effects, just 2 effects but still she can be a bit unique by just setting up the special with her weapon with this kind of super quick and pulse and then looping them with special spiral. And whenever in future we do get Arcane Green Tome she's also going to be able to make use of many of the skills that you do pick up in this Hall of Forms. So if you're trying to build her up, then you can definitely get the Weapon Refine to save the Divine Dews again. But you can also try and get some premium green weapons like Snow Globe Plus, which is hard to get um, just for fun. And for her slot A, you can try and run Attack Resistance Finish because it is pretty much going to be her best slot A option as you're going to be able to spam Iceberg with Special Spiral 4 and Time Pulse 4. So having that extra resistance is really helpful and you're also going to be able to get even more true damage and also the healing. But a lot of people do like to run AoE specials on Sonia. So if you're that kind of Sonia player, then you can also try and get Still Water, which can give her the extra attack and resistance. And if you want to have more speed on her, then Life and Death is the option. Special Spiral 4 is by far the best lobby skill to pick up because even if you cannot pierce the damage reduction while running AoE specials, it is still going to be giving you the true damage. And when you're going to be running Iceberg, you're going to be able to pierce through the damage reduction which is really great and any kind of extra true damage is really helpful on Sonia, where she's got this really old weapon which doesn't give her any kind of stat. And you can also get Time Pulse 4 as another really good option for her because you're going to be able to stack this up with Special Spiral 4 and then loop it 
um, for Iceberg. And you can easily set up Iceberg by using Dark Excalibur and Time Belt 4. So it does work out really well with her Weapon Refine and with her playstyle. So it is definitely worth getting uh, along with the other premium skills. The next holo form, Survival Pool, is going to be going up this month and the batch that wins the Revival Pool is going to be getting a run in July. So these are going to be the upcoming batches. We do have the Binding Blade and the Sacred Stones holo forms batch from the last time. And Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn batches are going to be added into the Revival Pool. So this could be an option depending on uh, how you want to manage your Forma Soul because Celestial Shop did get updated recently in the start of May. So you can get another Forma Soul out of it. So this can maybe help you plan your Forma Soul better. We're also going to be getting a regular Hall of Forms, which is also going to be Shadows of Valentia. So if you're a big Shadows of Valentia fan, then this month is definitely going to be taking your Forma Souls. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to share this with your friends if they're trying to build up any of these units from this revival. And if you enjoyed, then make sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps it tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more free videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes also do damage just like Berkut's weapon. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.